So I've been podcasting with my phone for a while. I have a few episodes under my belt. I love podcasting and I love how easy it is to use my phone to record my podcast. However, the more I use my phone, the more I realize that there are so many limitations when it comes to editing my podcast. And if you're anything like me, you can record a whole podcast episode without making mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. And I want to be able to go into my recordings and take those mistakes out. I want to be able to remove my arms, my long pauses, and every time I try to do that with my phone, it takes me forever. This is why I'm here in Studio Steve's studio so he can show me the quickest and easiest way to edit a podcast episode. Are you ready? Let's get to it. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Pod Sound School channel, the place to be for all things podcasting. Here with me is Studio Steve. Hey Podski. And I want to thank you for being here today uh -huh. because whether you've been podcasting using your phone or using a USB microphone in your computer, editing your podcast can be so frustrating. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to edit my podcast using my phone and it's taking me forever. Mm -hmm. This is why I decided to invite you here or to come into your studio so you can show us your tricks because you have so much experience. Yes. We want, I like easy, I like <laughs> simple, and I like quick. Uh -huh. Can that be achieved? Yeah, totally. That can absolutely be achieved. Whether you have been using your phone and you know with the Anchor app, you're trying to make a bunch of cuts and you're just pulling your hair out, or you're using an app or the program like Audacity and there's tons of workarounds and you have trouble mixing two voices at the same time, there are a lot of tips and tricks that we're gonna break down for you in this video that's gonna get you up and running very quick, editing lightning fast and feeling a lot more confident, getting the results you want out of editing your podcast. So to tell you a little bit what we're gonna do today, I'm going to record using um, my app, my Anchor app, using my phone. And then from there, we're going to transfer those files to Reaper, mm -hmm. right? Yes, and Reaper, if you haven't heard of it, is a DAW, and a DAW is a digital audio workstation. That's just a fancy term for audio editing software, and Reaper is a way better choice than Audacity. Now, a lot of people like to use Audacity because it's free, and we all like free stuff. And then another one you'll see people use is GarageBand. But with Audacity, there's, like I mentioned, so many different workarounds, and the big deal breaker with Audacity is that it does something called destructive editing. Mm -hmm. So if you make an edit or a fade out or anything like that on your project in Audacity and you want to go back and make changes or maybe you cut a, sh a sentence short, uh, you won't be able to do that because it's very, it's destructive recording. Mm -hmm. Also, there's tons of other reasons why you don't want to be using Audacity. Now Reaper, on the other hand, is a very professional, very sleek, very easy to use. It's easier to get using it than it is to get using Audacity. It's very user friendly. Um, and they have a 60 day free trial. And so that's really cool. You can use the uh, app for like two months without having to pay for it. And then after that, it's just a one time $60 if you decide you want to purchase the software. But in all of my experience as an audio engineer, after years of teaching people how to use DAWs professionally, I've tried them all and I have to say that Reaper is the top choice for podcasters at all levels and it's the most affordable, the easiest to use, and the best DAW. So that's what we're going to be covering in today's okay. video. Okay, so let's pull up the Anchor app. And right here I want to press this plus button and I want to press the record button and start recording. And because I know about microphone technique, <laughs> I know that I should place my phone right here so I don't get the air inside of the microphone, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Tango with Veronica. I am your host. And did you guys miss me? It's been so long. Wow. I am so pumped and so ready to get back on track and keep recording my podcast. And for those of you who are just tuning in, my podcast is about tango and my passion for tango. I'm a tango dancer. My grandma was a tango dancer too. And I just want to have this podcast to bring different people from different backgrounds uh, the, who are interested... Oh, I made a mistake right here. Uh oh I'm going to repeat. 
So the purpose of this podcast is for me to bring people in the industry, in the tango industry, to talk about their passion for tango and to talk about all the different behind the scenes that go into tango competitions and just to share with people my passion and their passion for tango. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode and keep tuning in. Don't forget to share your podcast, my podcast. I made a mistake there too. Don't forget to share my podcast with everybody. Okay, let's get to it. And then I press stop and save Tango episode two. Tango episode two. Episode two. So now you've added this to Mm -hmm. this episode here inside of inside of Anchor, but you've also added it to your Anchor library. And so what we can do is we can pull files from anywhere we want inside of Reaper. So we can pull files from a phone or if you're recording remotely, like on Zoom or Squadcast, whatever it is, we can drag and drop any files we want inside of Reaper to start editing. Okay. So the easiest way to do that from Anchor, and I know on our channel, we have a lot of people asking this specific question, Mm -hmm. which is how how can I take my recordings from Anchor mm-hmm. and put them into Audacity and then bring them back to Anchor? Well, don't use Audacity <laughs> for one thing. And the second thing is we're going to show you how. Okay, wait a minute. So I'm not going to be transferring the files from my phone to the computer. I'm going to access Anchor in the computer and download the files directly from the browser? Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. Uh Exactly. So when you first come in here, you're on your dashboard Mm -hmm. um, and you'll see there's a place where it says new episode. Mm -hmm. At the top, let's click on that. And here you can see you can create an episode and you can put together your same episode the way you would on your phone, very similar here on a browser and Mm -hmm. anchor. But for now, what we want to do is go to the library Mm -hmm. and look, Tango episode two. Oh yeah. Right? Because your your anchor account is synced up. So the app is synced up to to the browser. browser. So now there's these three dots here. We click those three dots and we say download audio file. Mm-hmm. And Hello, everybody. it plays it for us, but we'll press pause here. And then there's another three dots. It's all about the three dots. Mm-hmm. And then we'll say download again. The hamburger. The hamburger, yeah. Or is that the hot dog? <laughs> I think that's a hot it dog. It looks like yeah. a hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> so you can click on this little thing and say show and finder. Mm-hmm. And then maybe we'll rename it to something. And then we'll just call this... Uh, Tango episode two. Tango two. How about mm-hmm. we call it Tango yeah. two? And we'll put that in the downloads there. Now, right here would be a really good time to maybe put it in a different folder, like my podcast episode files mm-hmm. or my podcast files. But for this demonstration, we'll just leave it in the download Season folder. one or something like yeah, that. Yeah, season one. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now that we have downloaded your audio file, we need to get Reaper on our computers if we don't have it on our computer yet, right? Mm -hmm. It's really easy. Just go to reaper.fm, and from here, there's an option to download Reaper, and Reaper is compatible on Windows or Mac, and you just choose this 64-bit is usually gonna be the option for everyone. Mm -hmm. Download that. It's a very simple download process, and then you'll have Reaper on your computer. Yeah, so now you can access Reaper or open Reaper from down here in your taskbar. Mm -hmm. And this is what Reaper looks like when you first open it up. So Reaper is super simple, super easy to use. Mm -hmm. Here on the bottom area here, this is where is called the mixer area. And you'll see all these little faders show up as we set up tracks. And then up here is what's called a timeline. And on the timeline, we'll actually see the waveforms that we create when we record or when we pull files in. Mm -hmm. So the easiest way to do it is to just go to the finder and yeah, from the taskbar and from finder, navigate to the folder or downloads where that file is. And now simply just drag and drop that into Reaper. Yeah, just like that. Ploop. There it is. <laughs> and now you can drag and move this around any way you want. How uh, do I drag it? So if you hover over it like you did with the mm-hmm. arrow there, you can just click and drag. And see, it's very easy. So now you just brought it to the first of the project. Mm-hmm. And already, another thing you can do, if you bring the mouse to the bottom of the track here, you see this icon? Mm-hmm. If you click and drag, that allows you to make oh, the icon I bigger. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Notice how when we dropped this in here too, it created a track down here. Mm -hmm. This gives us volume control and it's just super intuitive. And then right above this, we have record, play. This brings us to the beginning of the project or you can learn shortcut keys and quick keys very easily. And Reaper has a lot of really easy quick keys. So you press W is one of them and that'll Mm -hmm. bring you to the first of the project. So look at this little thing right here, that little spike. Mm -hmm. Uh, That is definitely probably a little mouth click. Mm -hmm. So you don't need any of that. 
So uh, we'll just, to show you how easy this is, if you wanna zoom in and out on your audio, you can press the plus or the minus key. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so that's plus. Mm -hmm. Now press minus and you'll see that it gets smaller. And if you minus all the way out, you'll see that you can see the entire recording. The entire that recording. You made. Oh, mm -hmm. there it is. So now zoom out a little bit and then you press the space bar to press play and mm -hmm. we can listen back. Hello everybody, welcome yeah, back to another episode mm -hmm. of Tango with Veronica. I am your host and did you guys miss me? It's okay, things. so already you can do a couple different things. Mm -hmm. If you drag this mouse to the side, we get this icon. Mm -hmm. This is very common, really cool that Reaper has it right here for us. Mm -hmm. It's a trim tool. You just drag it and you can do that. Now, I don't actually want to get rid of your whole breath because maybe it's kind of natural for you to have a breath there. Mm -hmm. Or at the very first, we can have it there, but it's up to your taste. Mm -hmm. The other thing we could do is if we just keep this at the edge, but we move all the way to the top, we get this little fade out, fade in icon. And that allows us to pull this and make a nice little fade in. And look, if I pull it all the way over here, you can actually see it oh, yeah, there fading is. in the audio, but we wouldn't want to do that. We just want to do a little fade in right at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And what does it do to the recording? It just naturally fades in the audio so there isn't any clipping or anything oh, okay. like that. Yeah. So now you can uh, click in the middle of that again with that same icon, that little regular mouse icon, uh, into in the middle of the item and drag it to the left. And that would be dragging it all the way to the beginning. Mm -hmm. But maybe we want to zoom out by pressing, or zoom in by pressing the minus key, however you think about that. And we'll move it over here and we'll leave a little space for us to put some music at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And now you can very easily make those edits of those things that you wanna cut out. And I'll show you how easy it is. Let's say, for example, let's zoom in here. And anywhere you have this cursor is where it's gonna zoom in at. Mm -hmm. And if you zoom in here, you'll see some places we could already tighten this up and make it sound better. So I can click here on the top bar uh -huh. or down below. Or down below. And you can even click here as well. But mm -hmm. I like to click in the dark areas because mm -hmm. it makes it a little easier. And if you click here, and let's say this little space here was a little, maybe a little too much space. Let's listen. Mm -hmm. I am your host. And did you guys miss me? Maybe we even kill the and. Mm -hmm. So you can take that right there. If you need to do a precision cut, you just zoom in on it by pressing the plus key. Super mm -hmm. easy, quick key. And then here's a really easy, quick key, S for split. Mm -hmm. So if you press S, S, you'll see it splits it right where you have the cursor. Mm -hmm. So now move the cursor over right about there to the side. Right here? No, so I would say right, right there, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And maybe not so much, like leave a little space so it's not uh, too quick and okay. abrupt. And now press the S key. S. And now if you select this little item you created in the middle. And I just have to click on. Uh, just click on it okay. to select it. And now press the delete key. Delete. And it brings and it together. Gone. Yeah. What you can do now is you can continue to listen through and see if you can hear edits that you want to make. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll let you do that. Press play. And Tango with Veronica. I am your host. Did you guys miss me? It's been so long. Wow, I am so pumped and so ready to get back on track and keep recording my podcast. And for those of you who are just tuning in, my podcast is about tango and my passion for tango. I'm a tango dancer. My grandma was a tango dancer too. And I just want to have this podcast to bring different people from different backgrounds uh, that, who are interested. Oh, I made a mistake right here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna right here. So, the purpose of this podcast is for me to. So it sounds like you want to say the purpose of this podcast. The purpose of this podcast. Yeah. So yes. what, you could click right there and press mm -hmm. the S key. You can press the minus key to zoom out, mm -hmm. and then from here you can go find that again. I'm a tango dancer. My grandma was a tango dancer too, and I just want to have this podcast too. So right there. So you're saying, I just want to have this podcast too. So maybe that is where you would say the mm -hmm. purpose. So you can zoom all the way in to get a real nice precision cut. And I think it's right here. You press space bar. I just want to... And now you can press the S key for split, and then this is already highlighted, as you can see. So mm -hmm. you can just press delete and that gap will be closed. 
and now you can listen to how that transition sounded. There too, and the purpose of this podcast is sounds really bring. nice. Mm -hmm. So there, uh, we can zoom in by pressing the plus key. You can always fine tune those cuts. So if it sounded a little weird, or maybe you made the mistake of doing cutting it right in the middle of a breath, or maybe you you didn't zoom in a lot and you cut mm -hmm. it right here, you could just drag it out and sort of fine tune how these cuts sound, mm -hmm. uh, which is great. And so why don't we keep listening now? What's cool about this is we've shortened it, we've made it more intelligible, mm -hmm. you sound more intelligible, and mm -hmm. you can really get as picky as you want, but if you just make a couple little cuts, you can just get so fast at mm -hmm. this by learning how to use that split key and just getting really familiar with the Oh, this is gonna make my life Guess so much easier. For me to bring yeah. people in the industry, in the tango industry, to talk about their- So right here is, and if you were getting picky like Studio Steve mm -hmm. would, I would- <laughs> In the industry, in the- So you say, in, in the, the industry, industry- In the tango. Oh, in the tango industry, it's right there. In the tango. Okay, so there I would say I press S there, and I mm -hmm. could come here where you first started that. Press S there, and now you're just going to say in the tango industry. Mm -hmm. Because I'm repeating, repeating myself. Yeah. Uh -huh. The purpose of this podcast is for me to bring people in the tango industry. And then also, you took a breath here mm -hmm. that was kind of... Yeah, let's get rid of that. Uh, yeah, so if you get rid of that breath too, mm -hmm. that way it might sound more natural as well too. So you could see you could get really nitpicky and do anything you want to do with your podcast. Now, some people like to keep it more natural mm -hmm. and others like to get really nitpicky and you can mm -hmm. get nitpicky and it doesn't really take a lot of time. It's for me to bring people in the tango industry to talk about... And then you can, again, zoom in on that and really fine tune it. You could trim this out here. You could trim this here and do a little crossfade and let's hear if that sounds more natural now. Me to bring people in the tango industry to talk about their passion for tango and to talk about all the different behind the scenes that go into tango competitions and just to share with people my passion and their passion for tango. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode and keep tuning in. Don't forget to share your podcast my podcast. I made a mistake there too. <laughs> Don't forget to. Okay, so now you said I made a mistake there too. Mm -hmm. And that's what's cool too is now that you know you can edit when you're performing your podcast, mm -hmm. you can even give yourself cues. You can say, Oops, uh, edit that out. I know, I don't uh -huh. have to start from the beginning. Yeah, or mm -hmm. try to cut in the middle of it in, in the anchor app mm -hmm. and everything else. So should end their passion for tango. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode and keep tuning in. Don't forget to share your podcast my podcast i made a mistake there too don't forget to share my so don't forget to we, we're mm -hmm. looking for that word play this episode and keep tuning in don't forget so it's kind of right in the middle mm -hmm. so that's sort of a hard one to get in at right mm -hmm. and keep tuning in don't forget so it's right here is the don't don't forget to don't forget to. so let's see if it works i think i think we can get in there <laughs> so you can see it says don't you have to get really precise we're going to split it right there and then we'll go find the other don't. And again, I'm pressing plus and minus. Mm -hmm. Here's the other don't. My podcast. I made a mistake there too. Don't. Okay, so we're gonna wanna also get right up on this don't too. But if we put the cursor right here, it's gonna sound unnatural. We need to get right at the beginning and let the whole way you pronounced don't let that go. So mm -hmm. we'll get it right there and we'll press S and the minus key. And then we just come out to this and delete and let's hear your whole mistake should be gone. This episode and keep tuning in. Don't forget to share my podcast with everybody. Okay, let's get to it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's pretty good. And then uh, here you can either, you can bring the whole trim out that way. You can come up here and get the fade out mm -hmm. icon and fade it out that way. And now you have a completed nice podcast episode. That's amazing. Uh -huh. So that's it. And now we're ready basically to add a little music to this mm -hmm. and to export it. And then we could bring it back to Anchor or we could share it with whatever podcast host we're using. However, right here, this is just the simplest way to do it and the easiest way to do it. But at this point, you can actually do a lot more inside so of Reaper here. So this is just here. the tip of the iceberg when yeah. it comes to Reaper. When it comes to Reaper, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Reaper has all of the capabilities of any of the best DAWs. Mm -hmm. So if you really want to make your voice sound smooth or sound really pleasant to the ears, if you really want to give it just that good classic radio sounding effect, mm -hmm. you can do that in Reaper. And there's a lot of ways to do that. 
And actually, I just put together a great course, Reaper for Podcasters. And in that course, I teach you in three hours to get up to speed really quickly. It's a no BS course. It just gets you editing like a pro quickly. Which is now, per- is it for people like me? Yeah, and that's how it's designed for people like you or for people who have been using Audacity for mm-hmm. a while and for people who might be frustrated with Audacity and have a little bit of editing experience but don't really know about some of the more advanced features. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I've been doing this for many, many years. I've been teaching people professionally how to use DAWs and it's a passion of mine to share that with you to get you up and running and to get your podcast sounding way better. So go check that out. I'll leave a link for it in the description of this video and you can also find it by going to podsoundschool.com slash R4P. Reaper for podcasters. Okay, so you want to add some music to this? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so you can go down to the taskbar again. Mm -hmm. This is a super easy way by keeping Reaper open that you can go to the finder and navigate to the folder. In this case, we'll go to the downloads folder. And that was nice. You moved the window out of the way. That Mm -hmm. makes it really easy just to drag and drop anything you want to in Reaper. And then you can just grab where we have that track, Veronica Music. And you can pull your music in there and drop it there. Mm -hmm. Now go over into Reaper. And the same way, you can make that track a little bigger if you want to see it. Um, And, yep. So I drag it all the way to the beginning. All the way to the beginning. And we want to put it underneath our recording, right? Yeah, you can put it underneath the recording. You could even take this track and put it on top of the recording. Oh, okay. You can do whatever you want. You can make this... So anywhere. Anywhere you want, yep. Anywhere but on top of the recording. Yeah, if you put it on top of the recording... You know, it's going to sound weird and you can see it's covering it and stuff like that. So we Mm -hmm. wouldn't want to do that. Um, So and then we could also make the music nice and big like this. Mm -hmm. And then notice how down here this appeared. Now we have another track and it says Veronica music on it. So now we can turn the volume of this down and let's have a listen to what the music sounds like. I can either go here and click beginning of session or I can press W and we'll press space bar to play. Ooh. Yeah. And then maybe right there, just after a couple beats, we want your voice to come in. Mm-hmm. So we can plus in there, grab this, and pull it in like that. I always like to look at the waveforms because you can see the beat, you know, mm-hmm. bum, 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 bum. <laughs> and then this can come in right like that. Um, and let's hear what that sounds like. W, space bar. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another oh, I episode love of Tango. Yeah, but maybe what we want is the music to fade out right mm-hmm. when you start talking. And then maybe we want the music to come in again to bring the episode out. Mm-hmm. Well, there's this spot over here where the music ends and comes in again. Let's grab that spot. I'm going to press, have this highlighted. I'm going to put the cursor right there and press S to split it. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to take this trim tool again, drag it all the way. Yeah, let's do about right there. Mm-hmm. And then this will be the music that brings the end out. So you can see how easy it is to sort of shuffle around music. Mm-hmm. This music track's pretty cool because it has a little swoop in at the end. So let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, let's get to it. Oh. Yeah, mm-hmm. right? And then for this podcast episode, you know, that would be you getting into the episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll just give it a nice fade out. Again, you can come up here, give it a little fade out, and we do the same thing over here. Come over here to the top corner where we get this fade out icon, and mm-hmm. we go like that. So now let's have a listen to that. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Tango with Veronica. I am your host. Did you guys miss me? It's been so long. Wow, I love it. Yeah, and you can adjust how that fade happens. Mm -hmm. There's also a lot of other ways you can adjust the volume in Reaper. Mm -hmm. You can adjust the volume like you would by drawing a line or drawing a pencil. I mean, the possibilities are really limitless. It's really just up to your imagination. I love it. Yeah, so now when you're all said and done, you just export it from Reaper. Mm -hmm. How do we do that? To do that, you go to File, you say Render. Mm -hmm. And from Render, uh, here you give it a name. We'll just call this Tango 2, because that's what we've been calling it. And then you choose a a window. So Reaper calls folders directories. Mm -hmm. Uh, So we're going to search for a directory. And we're just going to put this back in that same downloads Downloads. folder. Mm -hmm. And we'll say open. So this window might look a little busy, but it's Mm -hmm. really not that busy. It's like it's just asking for your file name. And down here, what type of file you want to make. Okay. So this confuses people and they get a little overwhelmed. You don't need to be overwhelmed. So here in the format, what format we, should we We would choose MP3, MP3 because okay. that's how our podcast hosts want it. Okay. And then we would say apply, 
and yeah. render one file, and you can watch it render the file. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so that's what our full podcast episode looks like. Now, we have a few different options here. We can show in the Finder, mm -hmm. which will open up that Documents folder mm -hmm. or that Downloads folder, or we can launch the file. Okay. If we launch the file, we'd hear it in iTunes on a Mac would, would pick up that file, or any media player you have on your Windows would pick up the file. <laughs> Uh -huh. And there's our podcast episode. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another... So how do we upload it to Anchor? To Anchor? Well, now you just go here, the same place we were at. Mm -hmm. You would say new episode. And here we are in a brand new episode. Mm -hmm. And we would just click or upload or drag files. So we could also, the same way we did in Reaper, you go... You just drag it. Yeah, you go right down to the finder. That's kind of mm -hmm. what I like to do. But now we need to move this folder over here. Mm -hmm. But now, look, we have Tango 2 mp3 mm -hmm. and so maybe we should have used a better name for that but we could just drag that into here and now it's going to upload that and now that it's been added here just like it was on the phone these are our different blocks mm -hmm. so this actually allows you if you wanted to on anchor to still use the royalty free music that anchor mm -hmm. comes with you could still use that music here on or anchor to add a sponsor segment add a sponsor segment or inside of anchor you could still uh right here says add mm -hmm. background music. So how do I publish the episode or is it already published? Well, once you, that's that when you're ready to, you can preview the whole episode. Mm -hmm. um, and when you're ready, this is also a really cool way that you can create intro pieces and have those just sitting in a library to throw at the beginning of every one of your episodes. Oh, okay. And My mid rolls Your mid rolls and, and, outros and outros and, and intros. things. Okay. When you're ready, you just say save episode. Uh -huh. And then here you would put in your episode title. You would put in a nice episode okay, description. Okay, we do it so it's published already. So it's published? Yeah, yeah. okay. So you, we'll put this whole thing into chipmunk voices. Uh, we'll get this going fast because okay. it's going to take yeah. us a while. So. And that's the episode title. Uh -huh. uh, and Monica's back from her. Monica returns from, Monica returns from her hiatus. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not hiatus. Just drop some tango-y trivia. Knowledge. Trivia. Trivia. On you. On you. <laughs> um, right? Uh, uh -huh. We talked about... The history of, uh, we talked about where Tango began. Mm -hmm. or, and more. Or originated. Originated. And more. And more. Mm -hmm. And here, um, originated. Uh -huh. And I, I like this better. I like getting out of our phone onto a computer. I know. Even if you're using Anchor because it's just so much easier. It's easier to type in mm -hmm. your descriptions and then you could also use other tools like spell check and Grammarly and everything else to your descriptions. Mm -hmm. You could also copy and paste Word documents in here. And now look, it says publish date. When do we want to publish it? Now. We, we want to publish it now. Mm -hmm. And then it's also asking for the season number. It's season number one mm -hmm. and it's episode number two. Mm -hmm. And it's a full episode, and the content is clean. Mm -hmm. um, Not and then, explicit. Yeah, and then we say publish now, and it is published. It is live. Now it's live on Spotify, or we could just copy the link here. You can share the episode now with everyone, but our podcast is live. Let's just go to that anchor. So this is our anchor page. Mm -hmm. This is where you see our podcast. Ooh, can we listen to it? And let's listen to it. Ooh. Yeah. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tango with Veronica. I am your host. Did you guys miss me? It's been so long. Wow. I cool, am right? so pumped and so ready. To so you can see how awesome that is mm -hmm. and how much better that is. Now there is a little bit of learning curve involved. But don't worry, just get into it. Download Reaper right now. Start playing around. You get two months free to play around with that app. Mm -hmm. You're going to love it. It blows Audacity out of the water. Mm -hmm. It blows GarageBand out of the water. It's perfect for podcasting. Nice. I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was mind blowing. I wish I would have started using my computer to edit my podcast sooner. And if you're ready to dive a little deeper and to take the fast track into learning how to edit your podcast with Reaper, go to the link in the description below to find out more about Reaper for podcasters. And before you go, two things. No olviden hacer la tarea and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Happy casting, amigos!